we are going to have a communication satellite of 6,500 kg USA built communication satellite which is going to be launched within a couple of months. That speaks volume. When it comes to Honorable Prime Minister of our country, he is a different person with great tangential thinking. The vision, direction given by him, based on his vision, we are going to have a Chandrayaan-4 mission. We are going to have a Venus orbiter mission. We are going to have a space station called VAS. By 2035, India will have a space station on its own. And the first module will be lifted off by 2028. And he has given approval for a NGLV, next generation launcher. And next generation launcher configuration little bit we have modified. The first launcher which lifted off from Indian soil, the SLV-3, the project director was none other than APG Abdul Kalam and done under the work, under the leadership role of Professor Sadis Tawan. That capability of the vehicle was hardly 35 kg to low Earth orbit. I don't underestimate capability. At that point of time, it was a great capability. And the lift-off mass of the rocket was 17 ton. From that, we have moved gradually step by step. Today, we, are, we have conceived a rocket to take 80,000 kg to low Earth orbit. And a 40-story height rocket with 2,600 ton capability lift of mass capability, powered by 27, 240 ton locks methane engine. What a significant and great progress. And dear friends, lot of new technologies we have demonstrated this year. The semi cryo propulsion system, we have made breakthrough. The test stand was declared to the country by Honorable Prime Minister of India in 2023. We have completed almost seven tests in that test stand. High thrust electric propulsion, lot of things are done. And finally, yes, satellite launch vehicle, everything is meant for application for the common man of this country. And application, we are doing outstanding work. There are 55 applications. And we had a national meet after 10 years. Yesterday, we have concluded. And that has given a direction, guideline for the application, including SAT communication, satellite navigation, and earth observation for the country. We conducted based on the direction of Honorable Prime Minister Chintan Shivya. He has given the vision for 2047. We have written the roadmap how to achieve that vision. Also, how to take the space program up to 1962, being the 100 years of ISRO, Indian space program. We have charted out the entire program. Today, everything is going to be released here. 